children, we have already learned basics about solids, liquids, and gases, in class 3. Today we will learn the same lesson in detail with advanced features. This lesson is from class 5, CBSE. As you know, we are surrounded by a number of things. Some of them are solid. Some are liquid. And some are in the gaseous form. Look at the below pictures, and statements. Now, state whether the given statements are true or false. Ice cream is a solid. True. When the ice cream melts, it changes into a gas. False. It changes into liquids. The juice is a liquid. True. Juice, when frozen, changes to solid. True. The balloon contains gas inside it. True. Let us learn more about solids, liquids, and gases. Particle arrangement in a matter. Any substance that has mass, that is, amount of material in an object, and occupies space is called matter. All matter is made up of very small particles. The manner in which these particles are arranged within matter, results in the three different stages of matter known as solid, liquid, and gas. In solids, the particles are tightly packed and so cannot move away from each other. This is why solids generally have a fixed shape. In liquids, the particles are not as tightly packed as in solids, so, they can move and slide over each other. This makes liquids flow and take the shape of the container they poured into. And, in gases, the particles are far apart from each other and can move freely. So, gases can flow easily and take up all the available space. Change of state Matter can change its form from one state to another. For example, water, liquid, when heated, can become water vapor, that is gas. And ice, solid, can melt and become water, means liquid again. Let us understand these changes in terms of the movements of these tiny particles. Evaporation when water gets heated, it changes into water vapor, which is its gaseous form. Changing of a liquid into its gaseous form is called evaporation. On heating, the particles of water start moving or vibrating faster. Finally, they break free from their existing arrangement and escape into the air as a gas, where the particles can move much more freely. Condensation when the freely flowing particles of water vapor touch a cold surface, they cool down. Changing of a gas into a liquid is called condensation. Water vapor condenses to form water. Cooling a substance slows down the movement of its particles. Therefore, the particles become less free to move, thus forming a liquid. Melting the particles in an ice cube are rigidly packed to give it a fixed shape. When a ice cube is taken out of the refrigerator, it melts gradually. Changing of a solid into a liquid is called melting. This is because, in a warm place, the particles in ice start vibrating faster, and finally break away from the rigid pattern. They become loosely packed as in liquid form water. Fact. Opening the door of the refrigerator for a long time lets the cold air flow out. This reduces the cooling inside the refrigerator. Thus, to save energy, we should avoid keeping the refrigerator door open for a long time and not open the door very often. Solidification. Changing of a liquid into its solid form is called solidification. We all know that water forms ice upon freezing. Freezing is a type of solidification. Other substances also change states and the particles behave in the same way, 
as that of water. The particles move faster when heated and slow down when cooled. Solutions When two substances mix together such that they are evenly distributed, a solution is formed. The substance that dissolves is called a solute, and the substance in which it dissolves is called the solvent. For example, when salt is added to water, it dissolves to form salty water. Here, salty water is the solution, salt is the solute, and water is the solvent. Most substances dissolve in water, hence, water is also known as the universal solvent. Solutions may be of different types, depending upon the state of the solute and solvent present in the solution. Solid dissolved in liquid This type of solution is formed when the solute is solid and the solvent is liquid, for example, sugar solution and salt solution. Liquid dissolved in liquid This type of solution is formed when the solute and solvent are both liquids. Example, milk in water. Milkshake. Gas dissolved in liquid. This type of solution is formed when the solute is gas, and solvent is liquid. Example, carbonated drinks. Air, oxygen, dissolved in the water of water bodies, which aquatic animals breathe. Gas dissolved in a gas. This type of solution is formed when the solute and solvent are both gases. Example, air, a mixture of gases, miscible and immiscible liquids. When two liquids mix together such that they dissolve completely in each other, they are called miscible liquids. For example, when milk is mixed in water, they dissolve completely. Similarly, when ink is mixed in water, it dissolves completely. However, when two liquids mix together such that they do not dissolve completely in each other, they are called immiscible liquids. For example, when oil is mixed in water, it does not dissolve. Instead, oil and water form separate layers within the container. Changes around us changes occur all around us. The cooking of food, drying of clothes, growing of trees, and ripening of fruits are all examples of different changes that occur around us. All changes can either be physical or chemical. Physical changes Physical change is a type of change in which, only the physical state of the substance changes and no new products are formed. Ice cubes taken out of the freezer for some time, will change into water. The change occurs only in the physical state of the substance. No new substance is formed. Melting of butter. Breaking of glass. Melting of ice cream. Tearing of paper, are all examples of physical changes. Chemical changes Chemical change is a type of change, in which, the chemical composition of a substance changes and a new substance is formed. Burning of paper is an example of a chemical change. In this change, the original substance, paper, change into a new substance, ash. Rusting of iron nails Making curd from milk and cooking food are also chemical changes. Expansion and contraction When a substance is heated, the particles start vibrating rapidly. Thus, each particle takes up more space due to its increased movement, so, the substance expands. The increase in the size of the matter on heating is called expansion. Heating a substance can make it expand. This explains why a tight metal lid of a glass jar can be opened, when dipped in warm water. The water heats the lid, causing it to expand a little and open out easily. When a substance is cooled, the movement of its particles slows down. 
Thus, each particle takes up less space due to their decreased movement, so, the substance contracts. The decrease in the size of matter on cooling is called contraction. Thus, cooling a substance can make it contract. It is due to expansion and contraction, that electric cables appear to hang loosely from the poles during summer. But do not appear so in winter. Fact Water is one of the few known substances that expand when frozen. Thus, ice occupies more space than water. Let us remember. The manner in which particles are arranged within matter results in the three different states of matter known as solid, liquid, and gas. Matter can change from one state to another. When a substance is heated, its particles start vibrating rapidly. When a substance is cooled, the movement of its particles slows down. Heating a substance can make it expand. Cooling a substance can make it contract. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.